the National Park Service, today on Congressional Moment. National parks have been called the best idea America ever had, but the idea of preserving land ran contrary to the prevailing national mood during the 19th century, which saw nature as something to be subdued and conquered. The first national park, Yellowstone, was reserved by Congress in 1872, and five other parks were added over the next few decades. Most of the effort occurred during the presidency of Theodore Roosevelt, an ardent conservationist. Under Roosevelt, more than 230 million acres of land received some sort of federal protection. In addition to offering environmental protection, the growing number of national parks also stimulated tourism and economic expansion in the West. By 1916, the Interior Department was responsible for 14 national parks and 21 national monuments. Yet with meager funding, they had to use army personnel and civilians to tend to many parks and monuments. A wealthy and concerned Chicago businessman named Stephen T. Mather had joined the Department of Interior in 1915 and used his private funds to publicize the plight of the parks. Congress responded, and on August 25, 1916, President Woodrow Wilson approved legislation that created the National Park Service to help preserve these national treasures. In 1980, Congress added 47 million acres of unspoiled wilderness in Alaska, more than doubling the size of the park system. Recent debates have focused on whether or not oil drilling should be allowed, and how best to allow public access to the parks for large numbers of Americans without destroying the park's integrity. This is Lee Hamilton. To find out more about how Congress works or to get involved in your government, visit the Center on Congress website at congress.indiana.edu.